The other day, I was torn between starting a knit or a crochet project with this new yarn. Well, then it hit me. Why do I have to choose? So today, I'll show you just how easy it is to pick up and knit on crochet. That's coming up. My name is Brittany and I'm your guide to better crochet and knitting because I believe yarn does more than make pretty things. I craft because it occupies my hands and it calms my mind. I love the process and something pretty is the result. I want that for you too. Here we love yarn, we love to learn, and we truly believe yarn can do more for us than make pretty things. Picking up and knitting on crochet is actually really quite simple as long as you have a crochet base of some sort. Obviously, we're picking up and knitting on crochet, so we need some crochet to start the process. Once you have your base, it can be in rows or rounds, really doesn't matter. You'll first set yourself up to start working as if you were going into the next row or round of your crochet project. Well, rather than continue crocheting, you'll pull up on your crochet hook to release it, and then you'll insert your knitting needle in its place and tighten that loop up once again. That loop on your needle is your first stitch on your knitting needle, so you actually knit with that later on as you come back to it. So to pick up the next stitch, you'll insert your needle into the next crochet stitch and you can catch either or both loops of the stitch. It really just depends on the look you're going for. Here, I'm catching both of those loops. And then you'll wrap your working yarn around the needle. Make sure you hold tight to it and then just pull the needle through the stitch. And then that collects the new loop or the new stitch on your needle. It's really that simple. Now I'm a lot more comfortable holding the yarn in my dominant hand while knitting, so this is how I would pick up and knit. However, if you're more comfortable holding the yarn in your non-dominant hand, it'll look like this. So once you have all the stitches you need on your knitting needle, or you reach the end of your row or your round, well, like I said before, these loops are your new knitting stitches, and you'll proceed with your knit stitch pattern just as usual. Now, since this is something new you're seeing here on this channel, I've never really blended the two in one project. I would love to know your specific questions you have and if this is something that you're particularly interested in. If so, I will love to do more projects and tutorials that focus on this because I, I know that's what you want. So tell me that in the comment section below. And also, this little basket project you're seeing here, well, tell me in the comments if you want a tutorial for it. This is just something I'm playing with here. It's a little basket I wanna have in my office. And if you want to create that as well, then let me know and I'll film a tutorial for you and try to get that up as soon as possible. That's all for today, friends. Thank you for tuning in to Be Hooked. I really do appreciate it. This is the place where we love yarn, we love to learn, and we truly believe that yarn can do more than make pretty things. So subscribe if any of that resonates with you, and I'll see you in the next one.